Finding a flat in Switzerland and especially in Zurich is intense and we want to share with you in this video how you can find your flat in Switzerland and especially Zurich. Number one, you have to be very diligent. Actually, trying to find a house here in Zurich is a full-time job. Many people want to come here to live, but actually the housing offer is very limited and therefore you have to spend a lot of time trying to find the apartment that is meant for you. Number two, therefore it's very important that you have your job set up before you actually come here. If you have not set up your job before you come here, you won't have, I think, like no chance actually of getting a flat or no chance actually of getting a flat within like the city. Maybe you get a flat outside of the city. This is due to the fact that when you go for a visit or you apply for a house, mm -hmm. they always ask you for your job contract, your bank details, how much money do you actually have and also something which is called Betreibungsregister Auszug. I hope I said it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I'm German, but still like this word is difficult for me. And um, yeah, this is like something that you show that you have no debt and you have like no, no criminal background, criminal background like that. that you are like a clean and good, good person. And yeah, so have a job set up before you come here that you show that you are actually um, financially uh, strong. Otherwise, no, prob no possibility to get a flat, I think. Mm -hmm. Number three, have clear in mind what you are looking for. Actually, do your research on what kind of areas you like the most, what kind of budget are you aiming for, and also what type of housing would you like to live in. Like, are you looking for a modern flat in the city center or more a house that is in the outskirts of the city and maybe with a small garden just for you? <laughs> yeah, and even if you have like prepared, some requirements and you have set them into stone, I think you will have to lower your expectations and increase your budget. It mm -hmm. ex exactly happened to us actually that we came here clearly in mind, we want to spend 2000 bucks, uh, or I think even 1900 bucks per month on a flat and it should be on top of that in the city center or like pretty centric. And we found ourselves in this situation after some time that yeah, these flats exist I mean, there are these flats, which are, for example, for 1,700, 1,800, and they are like maybe 60 square meters, and they are centric, and they are exactly what you're looking for. But then there comes the clue, actually. We went for a visit, for example, for a house like that, and the queue of this apartment visit was actually until the street, and it was, I think, in the fourth level. So you can imagine how many people are actually there to look at this flat. I think there were like maybe 100 people, uh, looking at that flat and yeah so there is probably one couple or one person who is like a millionaire within this kind of visit and if he's going to apply for that house then this person is for sure getting this flat so yeah these flats exist but they are very difficult to get and therefore lower your expectations and maybe go a little bit also outside of the city city center and look also in other areas but something very good about this if there is like 100 people looking at the flat and queuing you might be able to find some friends while actually looking for the flat. <laughs> yeah. Which actually happened to us that we met some people and we are now friends with them. And we actually met them while visiting this uh, flat and standing in the queue with all these 100 other people uh, in the corridor <laughs> in level number two, maybe, I guess. <laughs> Did something like this ever happen to you? We are curious about your craziest house visit story or flat visit story. So please let us and the community know down below in the comments. And if you like this video so far, consider subscribing. Number four, the internet is your best friend. There are several platforms that we consider very valuable when trying to find an apartment here in Zurich. And those are HomeGate, Flatfox, WinCasa, Emoscout, NewHome.ch and UMS. Yeah. We found this house through Flatfox. This Flatfox, yeah, this house we found through Flatfox. If you're interested how, in how our flat is looking like, we can link here our room tour of our yes, flats. I think it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, we recommend that if you are looking for an apartment here in Zurich, you have to be here in person. It's much, much easier than just applying online. So we recommend that if you come here and you don't have an apartment yet, of course, then we recommend that you maybe rent an Airbnb or something in booking.com so you can go to the visits in person and actually see how the flat looks in real life as well as maybe meet your, land, your future landlord and also the area that you would be living in. 
Something I want to note here that also why you should go in person is that we have a friend and this person actually went to a visit and this visit or this house was actually very very different than in how it was shown in the internet. When this person went in person and looked at the flat, this flat was like in a really really bad condition and in the internet it showed that it would have been in a very good condition. So if you would have rented this flat like without actually looking at the flat, yeah you would find yourself maybe in a very bad situation in the end. Yeah. <laughs> So better look at it. For example, in our case, we knew that we were going to start working here in September this year. And therefore, we took one week in August. We came here to visit some apartments. We didn't find anything. So when before coming here in September, at the end of August, we rented like an apartment for one month. And while working, we continued looking for apartments. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we found this one through Flatbox uh, for one year minimum and yeah we are very happy that we got this apartment yeah, we actually are very, we are very happy and very lucky yeah like yes yeah and the flat we found before just for like one month we found through this platform mm -hmm. ums so i would also recommend if you're looking for a short term stay like very short, short term like one to two months or something like that i think you should use ums uh, Untermeet service, I think it's called, like sub sublet service. Uh, this website is called in English. Mm -hmm. And um, if you look for something like long term or also temporary, but from six months to one year, then you should use Flatbox. I think these are like, the best platforms from our perspective, where we made the best experiences with these platforms. Claudia and I were doing this kind of full time, right? We were looking all the time for flats. And what we realized, and we want to share with you, which we think is actually very valuable, is that most listings go actually online at 12 or at 17 or mm -hmm. 5 p.m. as uh, we would say also in other time scale. <laughs> and yeah. They said that we looked a lot of times in the morning and we were like a little bit disappointed like oh man we have seen already all the flats and these flats were already just there yesterday and we already applied to them and they haven't answered yet but don't worry about that because most of the flat uh, or listings they actually go online at like lunchtime at 12 so that said you should be like really ready at lunchtime to check for all the flats and then you should be really, really fast to write to those flats. Yeah. Be the first one, like really, literally be the first one. I have seen a lot of times that I saw a flat and I sent a link to Claudia and I was like, oh, Claudia, maybe this flat looks good. We should apply. And then Claudia was like, okay, let's apply. And 15 minutes later, we wanted to apply. And then it was, this listing is offline. Yeah. So yeah. because this person already got maybe like 50 requests or 100 requests. I have talked with like some landlords and they get like in one hour sometimes if this like, this thing is very good, if this mm -hmm. is a good listing, I mean if you list something very shit, then yeah. for sure not so many people will apply, but if it is a very good listing, then a lot of people will apply in a very short time and they will just take off the listing because they just don't want to answer more than 100 persons or 50 people. Yeah, and actually that was also our case, like oh, yeah. when we saw this flat, we truly applied super fast and actually we were the first ones that were interviewed for this apartment and therefore like the landlord like us and he just said guys i don't want to interview 50 people today so you are the first ones and you get it and you seem also to be okay i mean it. i think we also made a good impression <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't just take it like you yeah of course no we had things in common as well which yeah. makes things easier yeah exactly um, but yeah being the first one has its benefits and I think he said that he had the listing online also for half an hour and he got already 20 requests within this half an hour and he mm. took it online then and then he just wanted to decide based on these 20 people um, which applied within the first half an hour who is he going to take because he was sure he wants to take one of those 20 people there will be someone who's kind of okay he, he can take and yeah so be very fast. So where we come to number seven, which is that you should have your documents ready and make a really good impression to the landlord. When you go to this visit, best is if you have already your CV and your Betreibungsregister Auszug and all these documents they normally require. Have them ready, have them printed in paper and hand them to the landlord directly. And if you want the flat, then really also say to the landlord, I really want this flat. We have seen this also a lot of times that when we went, for example, to visits of flats, and we were maybe a little bit like unsecure if we really want the mm. flat and we went and we were like hmm should we take it should we not take it and then the next day we said to the landlord oh i think we are interested and we would like to take it he said no there was yesterday in the evening already one person 
who like wrote me like an email and said I really love this flat I really want this flat and then this landlord for sure is going to take that person because he doesn't want to wait to like to find like another person yeah. for him it's like very easy to give this flat just to this person now and and that's it for him like it's it's easy also understandable from his perspective so yeah and of course if you are in the visit like try to dress appropriately like mm. maybe more professional and also show respect mm. in wherever you go basically yeah that's also a very important point number eight is that you should maybe bring some more value than other candidates when looking for a flat and what i mean by that is that for example if in the announce or in the ad it says that the landlord would like to have like two months deposit then you go to the landlord and you say if you are really interested in the apartment i love this flat and i cannot give you only two months of deposit but six months of deposit and with that you will really get the attention of the landlord and probably he will give you the flat that's the case of one of our friends and she recommended um, that that's a good tip for yeah. looking for for highlighting your profile among a lot of candidates yeah i mean if there are like 50 people applying for a flat you have to kind of make the difference why yeah. why should you give it to you um if you cannot convince that person to your kind of financial stability somehow because there are a lot of people financially stable or it's through your cv then maybe you can convince them through some monetary aspects uh, yeah. which work a lot of times in this world as well as maybe for example saying that you don't smoke or mm. that you don't have any pets these are like small things but at the end they sum up yeah number nine if the landlord then asks you if you really want the flat and if he should send you an offer or like a rental contract make sure that you really want to take the flat because something which also to one of our friends happened and almost happened to us yeah <laughs> we luckily didn't do it in the end is that if they give you a contract normally there's like stated somewhere if i send you a contract and you like want the contract then and you don't sign it in the end then you will have to pay a fine because of like the service they offered that the work they placed in to create the contract for you and it's actually not that cheap it can be like 300 francs or like 300 dollars if you like say okay i want the flat and then you say actually i don't want it so i don't sign the contract and you just walk away it's not possible exactly. you will have to pay like a high fine and something really to take care for because yeah. otherwise maybe you're trying to yourself in a situation where you apply to five houses and you say to every house i really want the flat give me the contract you got like five contracts and everybody has like 300 dollar fine yeah you have one <laughs> yeah. one one thousand five hundred dollar fine um yeah, yeah. just it, for not taking any flat so it can be very expensive so really take that into account uh we were not uh, very um conscious about that in the beginning number 10 use your social connections maybe you don't really know but your friend really knows somebody that already lives in zurich and maybe you can share the flat if that's what you would like or maybe that person has other good tips that will help you to find your accommodation so don't hesitate to actually maybe reach out to people or post a picture on social media saying that you're thinking about moving to zurich and you will be surprised many people will be able to actually help you somehow yeah i think something i want to add here is that what we we sublet a place right and afterwards i saw that a guy i have been in a class with in the university is connected with this person i sublet the flat actually and i know that person from denmark and the other one lives in switzerland and i didn't even know that they have a connection but then i just saw on instagram that they are connected and i was like oh wow they are connected so sometimes you the world is actually much smaller than you actually think so yeah we there can be a lot of value in your social network and last but not least we want to say don't give up it can be very hard and very intense we know we have went through this ourselves yeah. and we know lots of people who went through this but in the end all of them have a flat now so don't give up you can make it thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please give us a like and also subscribe to our channel and if you have any other questions about how to find a flat please comment down below and we will be happy to answer you see you next week Best bye <laughs>